Hi guys, back in the forge today and I'm pretty excited because I'm going to be doing a test on my power hammer that I've wanted to do for some time. A lot of you have commented that uh, maybe I should increase the, the, the weight of the head and uh, to help move the metal better and uh, so, so that's, what, that's what we're going to test today. So um, before we get started, let's talk a little bit about power uh, or the force of impact, right? The force of impact to help move the metal. And it's really a function of, of mass and acceleration. And so you think about a, a drop hammer. A drop hammer is a big mass that's raised and, and then dropped. And they let the force of gravity uh, as the form of acceleration. And then there's other power hammers that have been developed that try to increase that acceleration uh, through um, perhaps mechanical means, uh, steam powered, uh, you've got compressed air. Uh, type power hammers, you've got the foot treadle hammers uh, that are out there, and then of course springs, uh, whether it's leaf springs or just regular springs like I have on my power hammer, you know, typical hardware coil springs. And my hammer, uh, I would classify my hammer as a spring assisted uh, trip hammer. And so today we're going to test it out using really two things. We're going to test out different weights on the, on the power head and we'll increase those weights uh, and then see if it makes a material difference and then we'll look at uh, those same weights with uh, spring assisted to try to increase the acceleration and further increase the, the impact uh, uh, the impact and how it moves the metal. So let's get started. Okay here's a look at the power hammer again and I was uh, as you can see, the head of the power hammer, this part of it was made out of a railroad, uh, railroad tie. And the nice thing is it's got this nice hole in the middle. And so I'm going to put a bolt through that. And the way I'm going to add weight to it is uh, just through a bolt. And I've got some spring steel here. So, and what I'm going to try to do is increase this power hammer head weight uh, 10 pounds a piece. So we're going to try it at just currently as it is. And then we're going to try it at uh, add 10 pounds of these weights, and then we'll add again on top of that another 10 pounds of, of spring steel, uh, and I'll bolt those onto the head. Uh, now, in terms of the, the actual total weight, um, I've got this little scale here that's uh, connected to the ceiling, and we can uh, we can weigh that by you know clicking onto the head here, pulling it up, and getting a final read on what the actual weight is everything combined combined with the, not only the head itself but the but those uh, pieces of spring steel okay and you can see that I've got a number of springs that have been disconnected I've got these springs here uh, but you know basic basic coil springs right that I can connect here at this this end of the power hammer and then I've got another area back here where I've connected uh, springs uh, to here from here so we've got those all disconnected because we're going to first try try this out uh, just with weight. All right, so let's measure the, the weight of the head here uh, in total uh, along with the arm that comes down. And I've got this scale here that goes up to 600 pounds and uh, I've got it connected to the ceiling. And I'll need to put this on because this is what I'm going to use to, to hold on to the head, lift it up. And right now, let's see, it's zeroed out. Okay, great. Bring this around here, lift the head, and measure how heavy that is. Okay, great. That's easy. 30 pounds. Exactly 30 pounds, 30.0 pounds. So that'll be the first test. Okay guys, in terms of what I'm going to use, I'm going to use uh, six uh, railroad spikes and I tried to pick out from my collection uh, those that are uh, in the best shape, that are all, uh, they're, you know, they're all the same, they're all the same uh, type of railroad spike uh, and they all measure uh, 5 eighths. Railroad spikes are, they're listed as high carbon, some are then medium carbon, these are all marked at the top of the head MC and uh, you can see here 
and they all have that same marking on them. So I think it's a good way to sample this. We'll heat those up to uh, just about to uh, non-magnetic to try to keep sh make sure it's all consistent and uh, in terms of heat, and then we'll bang one out each around these variables. We're going to try, we'll try uh, three at different weights, 30, 40, 50 pounds, then we'll put on the springs and we'll try three more and then we'll compare and see, uh, see what difference it makes. That's 15 blows, and we're going to keep that consistent throughout the test. Okay, I've added uh, these uh, springs, these leaf springs, uh, to the power head. I think it's about 10 pounds, but we'll, we'll, we'll check it out here and make sure. All right, that's zeroed out. So remember the first one was 30 pounds, and this is 39.7 pounds, so about 40 pounds. So the first one was 30, this is the second one, 39.9, we're going to call it 40 pounds, so an additional 10 pounds. Let's see what makes, that makes a difference. Okay guys, here's the 40 pound test. material difference. Alright, this is the uh, third test. Added more weight here, another 10 pounds I believe, but we'll check it out here. Get this zeroed out. Break this up. <sighs> pounds. So it's pretty pretty dead on of 50 pounds. So we've got a 30 pound, 40 pound, and this is a 50 pound. All right, here we go, 50 pounds. Okay, 15 blows. Now we'll, uh, it's a little sloppy because I can't get the bolt to tighten them all in because of these uh, little little bol little uh, bolts coming down from the top. So, but at least it adds the weight and it's 50 pounds. So now I'm going to add the springs and we'll try it out. Okay, boys, I've got the uh, springs installed. So I've got two here, two springs uh, from uh, True Value Hardware. They're uh, model number C323. And they're both the same, both the same distance. And then I've got a spring back here. This is a much bigger spring on the back end. So three springs, and we'll see what that, what difference that makes. I'm curious to also to see uh, how that adds to the uh, to the weight. Uh, so we're going to weigh it with this uh, with this scale. Okay, with the weight, with the 50 pounds of uh, head weight. The springs, with the springs, it turns out being 112.9 pounds. 100 and, so 113 pounds of downward, uh, downward mass, I guess. That's pretty significant. We'll see how that works here with the, uh, with the next test. Okay, this is 50 pounds with the springs. All right, that was a good one. Okay guys, I took off uh, 10 pounds, so this is a 40 pound head weight, but along with the springs, it's adding, let's see, it's 87, 87 pounds of, uh, so that's almost, 
Oh, it is. It's uh, it's almost double. Well, let's see how this works. Uh. Okay, guys, this is the uh, forty-pound head with. Uh, well, wait a minute. I better go. I better go heat that up a little bit more. It's not even. Okay, guys, this is the forty-pound head with the springs. All right, guys. With the uh, with no weights, so we've got a 30-pound head with the springs, and coming up with 73 pounds, which seems uh, heavy. Yep, 73 pounds. That's what it is. All right, we'll give that a test. Okay, guys. 30-pound head with the springs. Okay guys, here's the results. All right, along the top, you've got the railroad spikes that uh, were pounded by just the weight, no springs, at 30, 40, and 50 pounds. And uh, pretty much it came out like you would think. Uh, this one had the least, and you wanna look right here, right? Because I marked these, I turned them on its side because it was it, it uh, the blows were coming on this end and I put where the, the least amount was uh, the, the you know where you could really gauge what the deformation was and and it and it does you can almost see it by eye that this had the least uh, impact or moved moved the least metal a little bit more and then this was better but then when you come down to the springs this is where it becomes pretty evident uh, much better much better here. You can see right there uh, a bigger, way bigger indentation. So this is 30 pounds. You add the springs and we weighed that to be 73 pounds and there's quite a bit of deformation there. Uh, then you go a little bit further with the 87 pound. Uh, that, that, uh, that moved uh, a lot of metal. And then of course when we put the 50 pound load under the springs to help that acceleration, you know, there you go. That's the, uh, that was the, the best, the most. At least uh, that's from I and from also uh, checking it uh, with this. So I think, uh, I think it's true. More weight, more springs, you know, make a difference. I think more weight, uh, at least between the 30, 40, 50 pound range, <coughs> made some difference, but not. Uh, not that big of a difference. What really made the difference was when then you added the springs uh, to help that acceleration uh, at impact. So I think this is a good test. I think I'll probably land probably on the the 40 pound uh, and, and operate the operate the um, the hammer uh, with uh, with the springs and, and the 40 pounds of weight in the head for a total of 87. Um, I think that to me is is optimal and uh, I'm in no hurry and don't need to move the metal as quick as I would if I was, had my own business and was trying to make uh, a living off of this and uh, and you know I think that's the, the beauty of these you know spring assisted uh, <coughs> trip hammers is that uh, you know you can build a head as big as you'd like uh, and uh, put some big springs on it and I think uh, this one and a half horsepower motor along with the uh, a high torque motor along with this gear reducer is able to certainly handle it, uh, handle that uh, increased load. And so uh, I think that's, uh, that's great. And at least you have the option of, of uh, changing different weights depending on what you're working on and changing the springs, which is easy as just reaching over and uh, lifting them all off. So that's it guys, uh, very interesting. And I think you guys were right. Those who suggested I add more weight uh, to the head and, uh, and, and I put some springs on as well. I think that does make a difference. All right. Hope you enjoyed this video and uh, take care.